Hello everyone, this is Danish from jobskillshare.org. In this video, I will be talking about and basically checking a resume uh, from a JSS member. Uh, basically, when I say a JSS member, there's a story behind it and an efforts behind it. So if you're actually watching this video for the first time, this video and the tips um, has some history, okay? So you have to be a part of this Discord community and we're here, we have a member uh, sent us this resume where other people are also putting resumes and they want, want us to check things so we can sometimes check it. And in this case, I'm actually making a video because I, I think it's a good time for uh, an update video for our own members. So of course, when I say that I'm checking a resume for a member, then this member have went through our program uh, you know this program where they start with IT certification they basically start the whole program and this actually becomes a uh, a course uh, where you have this IT support resume applying for jobs and communities so if you're brand new and you feel like you already know the skills that I'm going to talk about today you can jump into this course download the template and then kind of like uh, follow what we really talked about you know in this resume sample to use searching for jobs interview preparation so even for this member, I am going to be coming back to this course uh, in a short um, while. So now let's get started. So uh, the first thing we want to talk about is this right here. Okay, the the statement um, basically over here is kind of like you want to keep it short, which is this is kind of like the generic one that we use. Um, if you feel like you really don't like this or maybe it's not clicking, then you may want to research more on this. Um, that's Google right there. You have to then research Google. What's a good stat statement on the top of your resume to be putting out there? Some people don't put uh, statements. That's fine. Me personally, I do put it. It's just personal choice. I always did it, and for most of my interns, I have didn't done that. Uh, see no issue with it, but you know, some people don't like it. Okay, core strengths. Uh, this is a very important area for you to put this stuff on the resume. Okay, now we're talking about you right here and we're talking about HR managers that are going to actually uh, be the people or anyone who is going to pick this resume. So when you put something over here, you have to know this stuff, okay? Because that's the first thing the person, when they when you send them this resume, their eyes are really kind of like focused on this area. So they're going to ask, okay, ticketing system, tell me something about ticketing system. So do you have an answer for this? Yes, I know ticketing system. I have done projects on ticketing system. I have used Spiceworks. So if you say I use Spiceworks, then you put it over here. If you have used ServiceNow, you put it over here. If you have used Managed Engine, then you put it over here. You do not put things if you have not done it. So that's my first recommendation to the member or anyone who is going to be using this template. Did you do Manage Engine? Did you watch YouTube for Man Manage Engine? Did you type Job Skills Share Space Manage Engine? in JobSkillShare YouTube channel because there's a videos for it, then yes, you can put it. If you didn't do that, then you, of course you can't put this because if they ask you this, if you, if the conversation started like this where someone is looking at this right now and suddenly they ask you, you put this right here and I see that you also use ticketing systems over here, which is really cool. Yeah, we use Manage Engine too sometimes. Tell me about it. How, how much do you know about it? Then of course, the answer will be kind of confident answer. You cannot be like, um, I, you know, something like that. That won't work because then they know you just kind of copy pasted things and they will go, they will kind of capture that and then they will attack that area. So try to understand the mindset of another person who is happy to see this resume and then suddenly they can really go the other way if they feel that this was a copy pasted type of resume. Okay. I know for some of the new members, they're going to get a little confused and or maybe they may a little get stressed that, oh, you know, do I really need to learn all this stuff? Now, remember, like we talked about this in, in previous examples, that you're competing with people who are already in this field. So when we say that, yes, you can counter experience, then you have to actually do this. You have to actually go and actually study this and at least know if you're typing something over here, you got to give them a confident answer. Now, they do not expect anything under this resume for you to be a expert. So don't go out there and try to master anything. If you feel like you know the idea, you have done some practice on it, that's all it is. Entry-level jobs are all like that, okay? 
Nobody expects you to know uh, Spikesworth's configuration and everything in a very advanced way. Nobody wants you to, nobody uh, kind of expect that Office 365 administrations or uh, even 2019 servers. You, you're going to put that over here because everybody puts that. But no one's going to ask you, do you know how to replicate things or things like that at the entry level jobs? If they do, that's their own thing. We, we, we also cannot... Uh, kind of like you know make an argument on that because people can ask you anything that's their business that's their uh, you know place so but normally in on an average way people don't ask a very advanced questions but coming back again if you put something over there you got to give them a uh, confident answer at least so they know that you know this stuff that's good later on you can learn a lot because you already shown that you know this stuff. So that's why the first part of this resume is very important. So if you put WDS, then there definitely somebody from IT department may ask you this. WDS is, is a pretty good skill. And a lot of IT people, if they know this, then I know that this person have done some, you know, stuff like on server, setting up a DHCP, and you know making the boot machines working with the uh, the WDS images you know things like that so I know that this person have actually have worked on few things that impressed me but at the same time I'm gonna ask you this because that's kind of like caught my attention now so if I ask you about WDS and you don't have a good answer then you you, you got a problem so in JSS of course if you're new and you're the f you're applying for the first jobs then it's always a counter you're always countering that with something like I did a project I have practice labs with me right so you if you feel like you want to keep this then then counter that with those type of uh, you know capabilities that you have that other people may not have and also you may want to add that I after practice lab I actually implemented everything on my local lab I know how to do this so you don't go into details you don't tell them that images or this or that i did this or that unless somebody asks you that's a different story but people don't do that because that's that's just going to go too deep and you're going to waste a lot of time so you don't want to do that just give them a basic answer okay and the rest is active directory management and office 365 are hot technology so a lot of people because even if it's an hr manager they're not it professionals right so so if if it's an hr manager or people who are not it a lot of people naturally don't want to go technically with you. They don't want. They don't want to look bad because they they feel like they don't know this stuff. But if they know these things right here, oh yeah, we use Office 365. Can you give Can you give me some examples of how do you use Office 365? So then, of course, you need to give them that answers from your what what you have learned from these courses right here. And if you have taken these courses in a way that we ask people to take every single video. In the video, in our courses, we basically tell people that how people are going to be asking these questions. Like we, we kind of, when we teach stuff, we always add that, like maybe someone will ask you this question, so come up with a good answer. And that's something when people have done our courses correctly, slowly, watched all the videos, did some practice, this shouldn't be an issue at this point right now. If it is an issue, you have to go back to the course ask yourself questions again come back to the communities like discords and maybe ask more questions from other people who have done this before you and you probably will answer will find a better answers than just having that in the course okay so that's just the first section that i just talked about are you comfortable with it look at it again if you're not comfortable with something then replace it with something that you're comfortable with from those that learning that you have done because that's a big learning that we i assume now as a member whoever is going to be sending this resume to us to say, hey, review this. And then I assume now that you have done your part of finishing that and that's why you put it over here. If not, then go ahead and change it to something that you can comfortably give an So the same apply the technology uh, proficiencies. If you don't know something and you think that this is a little advanced for you or you really can't defend it, then I would take it out. It's okay to have smaller text story. It doesn't have to be all of this. Because if, if you feel like cryptology encryption is a little advanced stuff, you haven't done that, remove it. And replace it with something that's a little basic. If you have put mesh and these things right here, then this is a core technologies. 
a lot of people in at your level they're going to ask you questions what is dhcp what is dns i know these are very basic questions uh tell me something about a difference between a word group and versus domain so for all of this stuff for all these type of questions like uh, interview questions then of course we have youtube playlist uh you know there on our youtube if you go to our youtube channel go to the playlist and we have tons of different questions different scenarios and a lot of different type of ways we have asked these questions so you may want to kind of go back and review those type of uh, questions to understand that maybe people will ask you something about work group versus domain now you don't see that in networking but that's kind of like very normal people will ask you about what is the difference between a local account versus a domain account so you need to give those type of answers based on those videos and again just just remove the things that you are not comfortable with or it's advanced because it's, it's a template that we are using okay when we come down of course things this resume overall it's pretty good i don't have any problem with it um, if you can shorten this down to one line that's that would be nice the more text you put on a resume the more texty it gets the more i would call it like buffy with text like it, it just it's just like someone's looking at it and then they will just see a lot of text and they get they lose their attention so you want to keep things in one line one line everything in one line right this is where right here just make it one line um, remove the things it's okay you don't have to put everything in there if you put wires that's fine you don't have to tell them malware vulnerability um, password security you know very basic stuff um, you could probably put that um, in there in, in a kind of one line area so we maybe we may have put a different template out there but again you you'll have to kind of work this out of what you know and you make it one line same uh, uh, suggestion that you can make it one line over here and that's fine to have one two three four five and then you want to keep five as well you did a great job over here um, so that's good that you have that okay now here's a natural problem that you're going to come across which is after you put all this IT stuff, technology and everything, your experience, your experience is basically not helping you. Like now that's good that you have front desk experience and all that customer services there. That's awesome. That's because some people may not even have that. But, you know, that's why we prefer people to take our internships, right? Or any internship or any projects that will be related to IT. You have to know the flow of this now, right? I'm a HR manager, I'm an IT person, I looked at your course trends, great, I love it. Technologies, wow, this person knows IT stuff, boom. Now when I come down, my eyes started to see something that it doesn't match, right? So yes, this template worked for a lot of people, but don't take stress on this now that, oh, now how am I gonna get internship for that of course we have all these internship batches and everything but that this is the this is the time where you need to take this resume fix the things that i ask you to fix and you start shooting it out to everywhere because right now what the way i i look at this and i tell people is like this you have 10 companies and i always give this example you have 10 companies nine will reject you one will accept you because nine were looking for experienced person that the 10th company they're looking for someone who know that you have done your work and if you know all of this stuff we will teach you because we got a way we got a different thing going on so our technical staff members or whoever they are they will teach you because you already proven to us now that you know the basics we're not going to take headaches of you not knowing how to use a computer or mouse drive active directory account resets all this stuff is a good stuff for a lot of people to know and they are willing to give you that chance and that's where we tell people that you have to then apply to a lot of places a lot of places when it comes to it especially entry-level jobs remember you're in competition with people who doesn't know anything about jss right now they don't know anything the way we do things so all of this stuff is missing from someone who, who's going to go to college finish the theoretical courses or maybe it's certifications like A+, and boom, they're just working on and applying for jobs. And even they will get a job. That's fine. That's how I say to a lot of people that out of 10 people, out of 10 companies, people will hire you. Whether you have great type of 
mentorship or flow like we have or whether you don't, you, they will hire you. It's what's happened next then you need to think about. The same person will be taking 10 times more stress than you when you get a job because then you're already prepared, you already know this stuff, you already have these skills. So think you, anyone who is going to be new, they're going to they're going to be dealing with this little stress of applying to jobs rejections all of this stuff is natural you have to prepare your mind for it if you can't prepare then of course your that's your your battle that you have to you have to fight it off that's the battle that we all have been through but in your battle you know that you have done your skills you know there's a backup you know there's a platform you know there are labs that I can do you know there are always a community that can go back and fix things. So the first thing right now is to prepare your mind for that 10 companies. And it's okay for you to get rejected from 9 companies. But you're going to go very aggressive with this resume right now after fixing these little things. And then apply to a lot of places and you may get an opportunity. If not, then you're still working on getting that experience that I'm talking about here that is missing. And that's the internship that we provide. Somebody else is providing it or projects, whatever you can put your hands on. And that says IT job, IT title in there. It could be IT intern, desktop support intern, desktop project, whatever it is. Then, of course, you're just going to a little next level that if you're not getting a success out of this resume, the current flow of you aggressively applying, then, of course, you need to go to a second step which is adding an experience in here, okay? We also provide that. In our platform, we also have that ability for you. Of course, for our internship, you have to pass our interviews. That That's not a membership-related stuff. It's just whoever can pass it, they get into an internship. Getting on the bottom right here, uh, the IT certification, you have a pretty good flow of certification. I would like, to, I would like you to work on the format of certificate. Maybe, maybe like... Try to see if you can fix, if you can put both in one line, like, you know, like maybe like half in like that, like, you know, just in one uh, area like that. Um, but it's not a big deal, to be honest. If you, if somebody's look at, looking at this right now, I can easily say that this person is qualified for an entry level call. I'm talking about call right now, right? So the first call you're going to get, so you're going to go back to this course again, and now you're going to have to go over searching the jobs area because this is where then I made a whole lectures on 17 minutes on how to search for a job. Prepare for the first call, prepare for the on site before the interview recommended videos to watch. And now you're getting into that interviews because now you're getting calls. You need to respond to the, this type of calls. And that's the only way you can be successful. And of course, you being in a part of this community, you should be also looking into this section, which is interview questions here look how people have done what kind of questions did they get and all that kind of stuff and of course anything new you just ask the community so i hope this video helped you or any member who's going to be watching this uh, for the resume that we provide and like i said if this resume don't work after f a month or two please try a different resume after you say that i applied to like 100 places and i'm not getting any response then yes resume you, the place that you're living in is, is, is having an issue with this resume then. Um, but again, this is the resume that this all of these interns, look at this eight employed, seven employed, not all of them. Some of them use this. So many members have gotten jobs from JSS. They have used the same template. We don't have any issues with the template. But like I said, you got to work on that area and find out the perfect one. If this is not working, once you know that you have applied to many places like that. So I want you, all the members who are watching this video, I don't want you to take stress on different type of resumes. I don't want you to take stress on different type of skills now. If you follow something in a more focused manner, you're not going to be stressed. If you're going to be jumping around to different type of, you know, things, I'm going to try this, I'm going to try this, I'm going to try it, without giving it a shot or without giving it time, then yes, it's going to be stressful. There's no fix for that. So I hope you understand this. And if you have any issues or any other questions for anyone, please drop a comment or please come join our community and ask us questions over here. We're more than happy to help you. Thank you.